of the story of the smart fighter. My name is Håkan Buske, I'm the CEO and President of Saab. Uh, what we have behind me now is the, the latest version of the Gripen. Uh, the newest fighter aircraft in the world today, it's rolled out today in uh, record time in three years. Have uh, new sensors, new uh, payload capability, do super cruise, that means you can do supersonic without utilizing the afterburner. But a lot of sensors have unique that's totally changed. And, um, and it's also affordable, so it will make the job at the same time it will not ruin your country being too expensive. So we are very confident that uh, uh, we're keeping our time schedule, we're keeping our cost and for us a small nation like Sweden uh, it's important that we keep our promises and I think that's also for our customers but uh, the development is going tremendous well and we are presenting something that will change the total landscape when it comes to to fighters going forward. Hello there everybody at aviacol.net. My name is Lennart Sindahl. Everybody talks about stealth aircraft and, and stealth systems. They are invisible things. They are not invisible, it's just that they are harder to see. Now we take back the ground, we put in a new radar that has the ability so we will not give the, the, the opponent the advantage of not being seen. They will be seen. We will include even more than previously electronic warfare equipment. It's equipment that's supposed to make the opponent not see, not hear, to make his radar not work there. And that is also an advantage. Then we'll carry more weapons, we'll stay longer in the air, etc. etc. Also, everybody knows from mobile phones, computers, cameras that Things evolve very quickly nowadays. The same thing goes for fighters. So we also secure it for uh, reasonably cost in development for the future, to adapt it, to plug in new apps when needed of the customer there. I think that's very important. Previously you could fly more or less the same aircraft for 30 years. That will not work in the future. You will need to, to update there without buying a new aircraft, but you, you get new functionality. In. Hello all readers for aviacall.net. Uh, my name is Hans Einar. I'm really proud uh, for what Saab has accomplished uh, this day. We have uh, finalized uh, the structure and uh, the fine airplane of the Gripen E version. So this is a very proud day for Saab. So I've been visiting Colombia actually two times. So uh, it's a beautiful country and I sincerely hope that Colombia will in some day fly the Gripen fighter. Hello, aviacall.net. Uh, my name is Michael Olson. Test flighting is uh, very depending on in what phase we are. We are at the first flight for the Gripen E, or the first 10 flight, we actually uh, 
it will be gathering data to see if our uh, modeling uh, is working correctly. So well, actually, we, we will we really work hard with model-based uh, engineering and model-based testing, and therefore we we do the first try expanding the envelope quite slowly, but still to convince ourselves that the model we have uh, worked with uh, earlier is. Uh, eu posso dizer que o Gripping foi um avião é, selecionado, foi o avião selecionado. Entre vários candidatos, ao longo de muitos anos, ele foi selecionado como o melhor para a Força Aérea Brasileira, pela sua capacidade operacional, pelos custos reduzidos e pela tecnologia inserida dentro do avião. E, obviamente, a transferência de tecnologia que nos interessa muito. Esta foi a razão. Eu entendo que as mesmas razões que nos fizeram escolher o Gripping, elas são também importantes para todos os outros países latino-americanos que têm características semelhantes às nossas. A Força Aérea de Colômbia está interessada em reemplazar sua flota de capir. Todos os aeroportos são totalmente operacionais. 